Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel free YouTuber that's trying to have a yellow no why. And today it's my third part in my YouTuber collab palettes week. I have five palettes that is collabs with different YouTubers and brands and uh, I'm doing a look with one of them. A look with one each of them. Should I maybe just start over? Um, so I have it done with the Lethal Instead from Teresa Instead and the Lethal Cosmetics, Giant Wolves with uh, Annette's Makeup Corner and uh, Odin's Eye. And today it's <laughs> Club Nebula that is Angelica Nyquist and Kaleidos. So I guess I'm just going to up into this and if you didn't know this, I do love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes I have. And I'm going to do a look, a combination with colors that I don't use that often. So I just get started. And I haven't decided if this is going to be an all matte look. But I'm thinking to take first this one in my inner corners, like in here inner crease maybe and then take this one in the rest of my crease and take this on my lid and I don't know if that is going to be it or if I'm going to take some shimmer and I think this is or I don't think I know that this is the palette that I have used the most of these collab palettes I do really really love this palette I think it's such a good color story and I just love Kaleido's formula and I think Anil Ganyquist did an amazing job with this and I should maybe I guess that all of you that watch me knows who Angelica is but she is a fellow Swede or maybe I can say she was because now she lives in Texas but she is from Sweden and me and Angelica we have actually met one time and she is amazing like at first off putting up that many videos and working full time that she did before she moved to the US is just amazing and also she does amazing looks and I really love to watch her videos when she talks about brands for example and when she does really long like talky videos she talked about makeup revolution in one video and she talked about beach cosmetics I think these are really fun to watch and she also does these new makeup releases each and every week that I also love and it's just so fun to see that it's going so so good for her. So if you don't follow Anielka I think you really should do that but I guess that most of you that follows me follows her. Okay, I think I will have it like this. This always looks a little bit crazy. So I'm going in with this Nauru and the rest of my crease and I think this is the shade that I have used the least in this palette. Not because I don't like it but I think that the other colors are more fun. But I think doesn't take up any space this shade I think I think it works good in this palette but it's just not a color that I use that much but it is a really nice color and I'm trying to not mix these two together too much and this palette was actually the last thing that I got in PR from Kaleidos and I was so happy about that because when this launched it must have been February was it last year? yeah it must have been February 2021 
and I was at Anoba at the time and I was like if I'm not going to get this in PR I'm going to break <laughs> my Anoba because I just love it so so much and at that point I really wanted all the Kaleidos palettes now there is a few of them that I don't have and I'm not super sad about it, but this one I did really want and I was so happy when I got the email and they were like We want to send you the new palette And I was like, give it to me So I will go in with rock hopper on my whole lid And it's now that I don't know If I really want to do this or if I want to take something like a shimmer but i don't think so maybe maybe this is going to be a little bit boring because this is gray okay do you know what i'm going to do i'm not going to take it on my whole lid i'm going to take it where i have the orange one in my crease so kind of like this and the one thing that I'm so happy with, with this palette, is it has three super dark shades, or four or maybe five. Like, these out here, they are really, really dark, especially these four, but this is also dark. And I do love that, because sometimes with Kaleidos, I think that they don't do dark enough shadows, and the shadows aren't... that different and I really think that because this came after the sashimi seri and lunar lavender and this was really so so popular and there were so many people that really loved this palette and I think with this palette Kaleidos was really like at their best. They went back to it when because the first futurism palettes like the cyber bronze and sci-fi green they are amazing. Then something happened but this again an amazing palette. So I want to actually cut my crease because I want to cut in here and then I want to take this uh, Nebula, this one to match with the orange I have in there. I'm gonna go in with Nebula. Nebula and some cat hair. I like don't understand how my cats even can have fur anymore because there is cat hair all over me, all over my boyfriend, our sofa, our everything. I don't know if I think I look crazy or if I do really like it. It can be like that that I need a base makeup, some eyebrows and the lower lash. There's just one last thing I want to do before I go in and do my base. I will take this orangey matte and just take it and blend it a little bit more. I don't know, can you see Astrid? Yeah, she's there. I don't know what she's doing. Okay, I do think I like this look. I'm not sure yet, but I I think so. I think I do like the contrast, but I will fix my base, my brows, take a lippy, and I'm going to take a lippy from Kaleidos because I have a lot. I also think I will take a blush maybe, uh, at least a highlighter. So yeah, I will fix my base and then I'll come back. This looks so much better when everything is on. I like the look. Uh, for my face I did use um, this contour, the contour palette from Kaleidos. I did love this one this came out. It was like the only thing I used for contour for many many months. 
and I do still like it. For my blush, I did take this one from Nabla. I think that this is Nectarine. Yes, it is. And for my highlight, I took Ray Rider from Kaleidos. This is the little bit of an orange one. For my wash line, I took Peach Fuzz from Colourpop. And on my lips, I took Injection from Kaleidos. And I really like this look. I think it's... Uh, uh, gray is not a favorite for me when it comes to eyeshadows. I think it's a kind of boring shade But I do think that this shimmer really made it more fun and also the like orange I have in here So I am happy with this look and I did use Nauru Rock Copper Samus and Nebula and yeah, it was so fun to play with this palette again. I think it was a couple of months ago actually since I used this, but this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. I love the formula of this one. I think Angelica did an amazing job. And it feels like this is one of like a unicorn palette that people really wanted and are so sorry if they didn't get it and I do understand why. It is amazing. I'm sorry if you didn't had a chance to grab it. So the two palettes I have left is the Serenity palette from Minardi with that is a collab with Annette's Makeup Corner and it's Freaking Bats that is a collab between Shroud and Betty Bean. And so far it has been really really fun and I'm so much looking forward to use the last two palettes and when I'm recording this the video haven't come up. The first video is coming up tomorrow and it's going to be so fun to see what you think about this week because I think I will make it to a week but about this theme I do really hope that you have been liking it. For me it has been really fun and I think that these like theme things is my thing now because it has been so easy to just sit down and film because I know which palettes to use. So I don't have to think about that. But yeah, I do really hope that you've liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!